YouTube welcome back to my channel again uh, this will make my second video today and I was just so excited that I just couldn't wait till tomorrow to do this uh, it is now somewhere around 1.33 in the morning of course this is my evening uh, while everybody else is sleeping, I'm working. And it's because I've got my internal clock messed up. But I came across a score today that just had me all excited. So I wanted to show some of this score to you guys. And I'm going to... Uh, take you off of the uh, tripod and let you guys see what I alright to start off with I got these two little bins which would be nice little bins to put in here somewhere uh, I'd like to have one sitting right there and um, those will make nice little drawers, and they do have the dividers in them. And you can see through the face about all of them. And all the dividers are there. And um, those will make nice little drawers. Alright, then we got another air compressor. I keep getting all these air compressors, but I don't seem to be getting the one I want. So what we're going to do is we're going to build one. And being that this is a camper, or used to be an RV, and uh, I took the air tank, I mean the um, fresh water tank out and the sewer tank, or black water tank, clear out of it. <clears throat> And there's an open spot underneath there. So what I'm going to do is he brought me two tanks. I'll show you those first if you can see out here. These two tanks that came off of a tractor and trailer. And they have the brackets right on them, as you can see. And then he brought me that cable, which is a long cable, and I'll bet you that thing's tough, too. And both of these tanks have the brackets on them, and he's got two more he's going to bring me. So I'm going to mount these to the frame underneath the trailer, all four of them. And then I'm going to find a place to mount that tank and that tank. Now once I've mounted all these tanks, then I'll choose me an area to put my pump. Now I had planned to take this off, all this aluminum right here, and it does separate right there. And this is a two horsepower motor. And it is 110. And um we're going to use this with that pump right there. Once I clean that up, we're going to use that pump. And I may even get a bigger pump. I don't know. I might just wait for a bigger pump. But then I got all these chainsaws. Now the home light right there, that one was mine. Uh, but I got the Craftsman. And now this one here, he wants me to fix it for him. So that's the second one just like that I've got that needs to be fixed. Then uh, he gave me that chainsaw, which is a super clean made in the USA 
Poland. All right, then we got these. And these go to this. I got that. And I got that. So we got us a 12 ton press with a 12 ton jack. And I've got a handle for it. He said he didn't have a handle for it. And I think that will make a nice addition. To this shop and everybody's saying well where's he gonna put this well I may have all full intentions of taking this unit and putting it in the building that I am making great again and I'm gonna take that shelf out or that bench and the bandsaw the wood bandsaw and all this out of the way and I'm gonna set that press right there and we're gonna bolt it to the floor right there so that will also give me a little more room around here around this area right here so nobody's bumping into it and it'll open it up in here a little bit and uh, so now we'll put you on the tripod Then we got the oil can and this is going to get cleaned up and made real nice and um, I've been wanting this kind of oil can so I got that one then I got this little oil can and we hope they all work. They need cleaned up really bad. Then I got this oil can. I don't know anything about these things, if they're good ones, bad ones, or whatever. But it looks clean inside, so I, I would imagine they work just fine. And it needs a little straightening up. And cleaned up and rust free, grease free. Then we've got two brass pieces. And basically, I'm just going to trim this up a little bit, trim, uh, trim that mushroom off, and clean this side up. And I'm going to use this for tapping my work into the jaw. I think brass will work just fine. And then this one used to be a hammer. And I'm going to send this to somebody. And it's got information on it. It's made in the U.S. I don't know what that says. But I don't have a magnifying glass out here either. Alright. So then we got we got those two. Then we got a little bit of solder. And you can't use solder without a soldering iron. So I got that. Don't know if it works. Then I got this plug. You never know when you might need that. Then, I got this pick set, which is a uh, Mac S-300. And then we got a brand spanking new, looks like. I don't think this thing's ever been put on anything. A silicone filled PSI gauge. And 
I, I love that gauge. That is awesome. The only bad thing is, oh, wait a minute. Actually, I think the red is what I would be paying attention to. Uh, not sure what the black is. Uh, it Because it goes from zero to 500. So I don't know what this is for. But I would imagine it would work for air. So we got that. Then we got a level. And I believe this is a machinist level because it comes together with a screw to adjust it. And I have no idea how I'm going to adjust this thing. I will have to take this apart and clean it up. And I'm going to have to watch some videos. I think some guys on here that are subscribed to me or that I'm subscribed to have done videos on how to uh, set these things. So I might have to do some investigations. But I got that one. That's an empty box. I think this was in there. So it has two, three Allen keys in it. <coughs> then I got this box, which has another one of those in it. And it's got a V groove on the bottom of it. And it's set up just a little bit different than the other one. So I got this one, then I got this one, and I don't know anything about these. But we're going to find out. There's no markings on these. This one looks like it's got an aluminum base. And there's no name on it. Unless when I clean it up I see something. But uh, right now I don't see any names on it. So let me get some uh, steel wool and we'll see. Now we'll take this steel wool and see what, see if we can clean it up, see if there's any name on it. Well, it's either my imagination or but there used to be something there. I'm not sure. But I don't see any names on these. Nope. No name. So they must be cheap. <laughs> so, so there was that. And that's pretty much it. Well, except for this. Which comes on a, uh, it's a, goes to a tar machine. And it's broke here on the end. And I thought, well, you know what? I can just cut that thing up and use the metal out of it for something. And um, I can actually probably take and cut that off right there and mount me a clamp. Mount me two clamps right here. Well, maybe not. A little wider and use it for making a uh, bandsaw resoldering base but that ain't gonna work i got some steel coming that's going to do that i gotta make one of those 
But that's pretty much it. Uh, I was tickled to death to uh, get that stuff. And basically I got a little bit of work involved in this. And um, a uh, laptop that I traded for the uh, press. And... I think that press will make a nice one for this shop. It's not the biggest press in the world, but uh, it's all the press I'll ever need. Uh, if I need anything bigger than that, I'm working on something that I don't want to work on. So, <laughs> uh, But there you have it. Uh, we're going to restore that press, clean it up, repaint it. I can't stand that god-awful orange. That, that orange has got to go. I'm sorry, it clashes with everything in here. And yes, it matches my drills, my cordless drills. But I don't care. It's going a different color. And I might do blue just to uh, uh, show crafted how to paint a lathe. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, we've been picking on each other. I've been picking on him about his red lathe. He's been picking on me about everything being blue. But um, I don't know what color I'll go. I'm, I may go black. Uh, it don't matter what color you go. Um, if you don't get all the orange paint off of it, if you scratch it, and you know you're going to, um, it's going to show orange anyway, so, uh, but yeah, I'm going to repaint it. I might go black and uh, do some camouflage trim on it to match the uh, meal, and uh, it'll work fine. So, I hope you guys... Uh, Appreciated my show and tell. Uh, we might just call this the Bison Show and Tell, and uh, go from there. So I'm gonna get off of here, go in here and edit this so I can get it up for you guys in the morning. Gotta have something for Evil Twin to watch while he's riding on that train. <laughs> Anyway, y'all have a good one. Have a safe trip, Evil Twin. Talk at you later.